Hey gang, this is Dr. John Sweet from Purdue University in West Lafayette, Indiana. And I'm here today to help you be band ready. No matter the size of your band, there are things that you can do on the field to present different types of pictures uh, for your audience. So here we are in Piware. And there are a couple of different ways that you can place your image as you set up your blank canvas to draw your picture. So I can use the prop control panel first. Uh, this is included on Piware Basic, which a lot of you are most likely using. I can draw my image box, choose a prop image. I've already gone to Google and searched for clip art. That's a really great way to find images. And then use my adjuster to make sure that the prop is centered and now it's ready to place performers on. There's one other way that you can do this. I'm gonna delete this image, and that's using the floor cover tool panel. This is if you have Pyware Pro. I'm gonna draw a box very similarly. Choose a floor cover image. This one, I'm just gonna adjust the anchors to make sure that it's symmetrical how I would like it, and then we're ready to go. One of the benefits of using this tool is I can change the floor opacity up here. Uh, that way you can see the grid as you're adjusting your form. So I'm gonna use that, that way I can see exactly where I'm placing students. So as I begin to place students, um, I'm not worried so much about how many people are in the picture. I wanna make it bigger probably than uh, what my ensemble is and then reduce the file, uh, reduce the uh, number of people um, as I adjust the form. So I'm gonna use the line tool and just place a few lines on one side of the image. And I'll explain why we're just gonna do one side of the image here in a second. This is um, a really easy way to get symmetrical forms to look outstanding. I'm gonna delete this extra person on the other side of the 50. And so what I'm gonna do, um, what, or what I encourage you to do, is to adjust the people to make sure that they're on the grid, like a formula to a two-step interval kind of thing. Uh, for this these vertical file, this vertical right here, uh, we're going to do down two steps over one step, down two steps over one step to make sure that that is nice and clean and easy to teach. Uh, this one, this um, horizontal uh, rank there, you can uh, just do a two step interval. For this downward uh, angle, you're going to do uh, down two over one. I'm sorry, down one over two. And then for this, you're going to be down two over one. And then up uh, one over two for this one. So you, you're gonna um, do that. And you can do that easily with the adjuster tool and move any person around. Now, once you have that really looking great, highlight the form, hit Command-C, then Command-V, mirroring options, invert pasted shape across mid stage, and now you've got a perfect form on both sides and you don't have to spend the time getting each one exactly right. You've already done the work on one, so the other is copied. Now you do have um, two people standing on this spot, so I'm gonna delete those people and then just put one back so that we only have one person standing in that spot. Make sure that you can see that as an X. Okay. Now, what if you don't have enough people to fill this out? This is 85 people. What if you don't have 85 people? There's a couple things you can do. Number one, um, you can eliminate these bottom two lines. Uh, that way, the top of the form is still seen, um, and that way, um, it still looks like a star. This works really great for like a homecoming set uh, where you can have people in the middle of it and going in and out of it. Uh, it work, and That's a really clear way to still have a star um, and it work. The other thing you can do is eliminate every other person. You can do that. Um, and you can continue that process 
and shrink that until you have one that's appropriate for your size band. Now, the last thing I want to talk about is a principle of verticality. Um, as you can see, I'm going to take this prop image away, the easy way. You can see it looks like a star uh, looking from top down. And if I go to my 3D view, it looks like a star, but uh, very few of us have stadiums that are that big. So as I lower this angle, you start seeing that the spaces in the left and right quadrants of the star here in the middle of it um, are obscured. Um, they're hard to see. It doesn't look as much like a star. So what I'm going to do, once I get all the right number of people in the shape that I want it to, I'm going to use the resize tool. And I click on stretch. And I'm going to stretch this upward. Now, you notice that kind of messes with the people on the grid. So you may want to, if you're concerned about being on the grid, um, do this and then adjust how many people are in it. There may be more people at the top of the star and the bottom of the star, and that's okay um, to make it look right um, as you do this. Or if you're not as concerned about the grid, uh, you can do this afterwards. It just depends on what is best for your group. So you see I'm going to stretch this out really tall. It looks strange here on the top-down view, but if you look here at the 3D view, it looks like a great looking star where you can see all the different uh, parts of the triangles that make it up. Well, there you have it, gang. I hope that this tip is something that you can use right away as you're planning for your fall marching season or indoor season. There's, there's a lot of different options. Of course, if you have any questions or ever want to have a conversation about ways that you can implement these kind of pictures in your show, feel free to reach out. You can email me at jonsuite at icloud.com. I hope that you have a great day.